what's going on Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical and welcome to Range Lessons with Ghost. This is a special series that we've started to really try to help people that are either new or just experienced shooters that are having issues. But today we're going to focus on more towards the newer shooter style here. We're going to try to explain some basic fundamentals that every shooter needs to know that help might make you a little bit more proficient and enjoy shooting a little bit more. We're going to go over basically the grip, the stance, and some trigger discipline to let you know what's going to help you possibly get tighter groupings in a more accurate fashion. So let's dig in. Okay guys, as always, it is clear. So we're going to make sure that we're going to always clear our gun when we're talking around, especially with people. we got people in the back here at the range shooting some steel, little Glock match back here, a little practice I should say. Just a little fun, which I love seeing people out here shooting whenever we can. So uh, we're going to make sure we're always safe and we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit first about grip and the grip is obviously probably the most important part of your firearm handling because it's actually what holds the gun without a good solid mechanics of a grip you're probably not going to be able to be a very proficient shooter so what we're going to decide first thing is is our shooting hand now obviously i'm going to talk about being right-handed if you're left-handed just kind of switch everything over okay so what we're going to do is with right-handed you want to make sure that you get as high on the grip as you can. Now, some guns will have a beaver tail up here, that'll a, a more pronounced beaver tail. It'll actually help you get as high as you can. But no matter what gun you're on, we want to make sure we get as high as we can with our right hand on that. Okay. We're going to obviously grip right here. Our left hand. Okay. What we're going to try to do here with our left hand is we want as much skin touching this pistol grip as we can. So once we have our right hand and we're good to go with our right hand, then we're going to kind of take our left palm and put it right here on that grip. It's going to move, force that left hand in at a 45 degree angle. So at this place, we're going to wrap our hands around here. As you can see, we have thumbs pointed down range, both of them here, as you can see. So this is a good solid grip. So when we come here, we're going to be able to come right here but that's a good solid grip we want to make sure it's a firm grip we don't want to have a weak wrist we want to make sure that our right hand if you're a right-handed shooter is basically a firm handshake that's about as far attention as you want you don't want to be too weak but you don't want to be too strong either a good firm handshake is what we're looking for grip tension okay now with our left hand we're probably going to try to have a little bit more grip tension with the the fingers on our left hand okay it's gonna be about 60 40 some people like it a little bit heavier on the left side but uh, 60 40 at least with that left hand grip pressure that's gonna hold that in there okay guys so let's go through a quick recap on the grip obviously we're gonna start out with our strong hand as high on the grip as possible if you have a nice pronounced beaver tail get that as high underneath that beaver tail as you can the second thing we want to worry about as far as our strong hand grip pressure is it should be like a firm handshake, not too soft, not too tight. As far as our weak hand, we want to make sure our palm gets as much of the skin on that grip as possible. That will kind of turn that hand in a 45 degree angle, but get as much of that, that weak hand palm on that grip as is possible. And as far as our weak hand grip pressure, our fingers want to grip a little bit more tighter than your strong hand and that's going to be a personal thing you might have to figure out which pressure works best for you but typically we want our weak hand to feel a little more pressure than our strong hand now as far as stance there's a couple different stances you can go the base of every stance though is a nice shoulder width athletic stance if you played sports you know what a good defensive stance is in basketball you know how to get a defensive stance when you're in baseball or softball or whatever but a good athletic stance feet shoulder width apart knees slightly bent we don't want them straight but we don't want to bend too much okay we want to have them slightly bent okay so we're here okay the biggest thing we want to talk about at this point is our weight distribution we want our chin kind of right over our toes okay what that does is that gives a little bit more support so we want to be here we don't want to be leaning back because when the gun fires we're going to be out of position and out of control so we want to have our weight more core on our toes feel like our chin is right over our toes so when we get in here we have a nice base and a nice support for any recoil or anything else that goes along with the firing the firearm. So we want to basically, like I said, grip, we're ready to go, feet shoulder width apart, kind of chin over our toes, and we're leaning in, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about is trigger discipline, okay? And, and managing the trigger well, okay? The best way I can describe it is you want the middle part of your trigger finger, which is your index finger, you want the middle part of your index finger on the middle part of the trigger. And if you can see here, if you have it like this, 
okay we can see there that's way too much trigger finger okay way too much it's going to force the gun when you pull trigger to pull right okay now the next one we have is too little of a trigger finger you can see my my finger is not really kind of going over there what's going to happen on this is when you pull it it's going to force the gun left now once again we're talking if we're on the right hand side of the gun so the best way to do it is the middle part of our finger okay the middle part of our finger to go right to the middle okay and that's where we want to have our our trigger and at that point we pull straight back we don't want to pull in we don't want to pull out it's straight back now if you've been doing your research before you own a firearm or before you shoot you've been watching other videos you might have heard from other people about maybe being surprised when you, when you pull a trigger what this basically means is you do not want to jerk as you're firing some people are going to anticipate the loud noise or the recoil so they're going to kind of pop a little bit or they're going to sit there and know they're going to come so they're going to try to control that recoil you don't want to do that you want to sit there and pull that trigger smoothly and straight back and it should almost surprise you when the trigger is fired okay and you can do a lot of dry fire drills with this you know you can sit there and just point at something and pull it straight back and hopefully that muzzle doesn't move okay the last thing we want to talk about is something that usually doesn't get covered in a lot of videos and that's your breathing breathing is a crucial part of firing your weapon and the last thing we want to do is be shooting while we're taking a big breath what's going to happen that gun's going to go up if you pull a trigger as you're letting your breath out chances are that gun might drop a little bit so for me and this there's all sorts of different ways but for me the best way to figure out the timing of my breathing and shooting is just as i'm finishing letting my exhale go i'm almost out of air exhaling from my body that's when you want to pull a trigger for me that's when i'm the most steady now you can do your own training and your own figuring out of what works best for you but for me that's what works seems to work the best is when i get down okay guys i hope this video helps you a little bit in the basic fundamentals of shooting we always want to always remember the four safety rules of shooting when you're at the range and you're practicing or anything else in life with the firearms always remember the four safety rules and also always practice your fundamentals no matter how long you've been shooting and how good of a shot you think you are there's a good chance that if you're not shooting well that day you've got poor mechanics okay so always practice your mechanics always make sure you have a good grip a good stance good trigger discipline and obviously work out your breathing if you can manage those four things you'll be successful with a firearm thanks for watching guys simplify Oh, hey guys, sorry, didn't realize the video was over. Just doing a little cleaning real quick. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you don't like the video, then go ahead and leave us a comment down below and tell us why you didn't. We'd love to hear your feedback. If you really liked the video, then we ask you to go check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us. You can find all of our social media links. And after that, Go ahead and check out a couple videos over here. Guys, thanks for watching. Simplify.